I am happy today. Please don't misunderstand. I just felt that this message that I would like to, I will be delivering in behalf of God is not only for you, but it's also for me. I would like to thank the church for the wholehearted support for me and my wife in our ministry here for the past one year and one month. We are still standing in Glendale, Filipino, Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen. Thank you so much for your support and prayers. We really appreciate it. Last night I was with our young people in Prado Park, Chino, California. I brought four of our young people there. And we have a great time. We have a fun time. And today we will go back there to enjoy the campery of the Southern California Conference Youth Ministry. I would like to begin with a, with a story. There were two monks who were returning to the monastery one day or one night. It had rained and there were puddles of water on the roadside. At one place, a beautiful young woman was standing, unable to walk across because of the puddle of water on the road. The elder of the two monks went up to her, lifted her in his arms, and lifted her on the other side of the road, and continued his way to the monastery. In the evening, the younger monk came to the elder monk and said, Sir, as monks, we cannot touch a woman. And this is a Buddhist culture. The elder monk answered, Yes, we cannot touch a woman, my brother. Then the younger monk asked again, But then, sir, how is it that you lifted a woman on the roadside? The elder monk smiled at him and told him, I left her on the other side of the road, but you, you're still carrying her. Those who have an ear, let them hear. And those who understand, let them understand. The moral story is this. Our thoughts, According to Siddhartha Gautama, our thought is what we become. What is God's thought for us this morning? What is God's thought for me this morning? Sometimes God allows you and me to think differently than Him or other people. Sometimes God operates in a less favorable circumstance in order for us to learn important lessons about what God thinks is best for you and for me. Sometimes or most of the times God would use adversities to capture our attention and redirect our thoughts towards Him. 